itu di Kupi Kupi FM. Terima kasih karena terus setia bersama kami orang di sini dan hari ini kami ada tetamu yang sangat sangat istimewa, oke? Okay? Dan mungkin selalu kamu tunggu di TV saja. Uh, bangun pukul 3 pagi, pukul 4 pagi tunggu IPL kan? Because in Sabah sebenarnya they wake up uh, to watch like Manchester United, Liverpool. They wake up early in the morning, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. and some don't go to work the next day. They end up sleeping in, oke? Okay? Dan hari ini saya bersama dengan pemain-pemain legend uh, dari Liverpool kita ada John and Risa. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Dan juga Ronnie Johnson yang pernah bermain dengan uh, pasukan Manchester United tahun berapa gitu Leicester? Ah, sembilan puluhan dan mereka adalah legend, legend. Okay, dan hari ini uh, saya berpeluang untuk bersama dengan Dorang dan we're very grateful that you guys uh, are able to spend like masa lah time here in our studio. And uh, I'll start with Ronnie. Ronnie, I'm good. How are you? So you've been to Sabah. This is your second time in Sabah. Okay. This is second time. I've been so lucky. I was here in July actually, and I met a lot of fans. Mm-hmm. I was overwhelmed with so many fans. Yes. Uh, now we're here, so I'm really happy to be back again and uh, explore more of your uh, your great city and your country. Awesome. You'll be coming back here in November, right? Yeah, we're coming back in November. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bring my buddies uh, from Manchester United <laughs> and. Uh, Hopefully we can see a lot of uh, fans at uh, Lika Stadium. Uh, yes, Lika Stadium dan mereka akan bermain di Lika. Oke, okay, pada bulan November saya akan bagi tahu dia punya tarik dan uh, first time di Sabah John and Risa. Uh, when you first heard Sabah Borneo, what was your first impression? Jungle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had no to be honest I had no clue but I've been to these type of cities and countries before so mm-hmm. I always enjoy traveling to new cities and new countries and, and visit the fans. I mm-hmm. think that's a great way of giving back to, to the fans who follow us. So uh, for me, I just thought, you know, new place, new friends. New place, new fans. Huh? But do you know that your fans here are massive, both of you? I realized, uh, well, I've, I've been to these countries before. I know it's Man U and, and Liverpool have massive fans here. But uh, I saw again uh, yesterday at the airport when I came, the fans met me at the airport. Mm-hmm. Is these are the things that you don't expect. Oh, uh, yeah. So it was unbelievable to come to the airport yesterday. Awesome. And we're going to go to the next question. Kita akan kembali selepas ini. Ada banyak lagi soalan yang saya mau tanya diorang. Dan mereka akan bermain di KK pada bulan November. Uh, 20 hari bulan November. Dan saya akan bagi tahu dia punya harga tiket semua kan. Dan ini adalah macam... Pertama kali, this is the first time the legends are playing in KK. Usually, we only see my boss uh, playing <laughs> and, yeah, and we don't score at all, okay? So, I'll be back. Kita akan kembali selepas ini. Ada soalan, saya mau tanya. Terus setia bersama aku. Bersama saya Velvet di Steady Cow Gang. Dan sebenarnya di konti ini, saya bersama dengan dua pemain legend, okay? Siapa-siapa yang pernah uh, mengikuti ataupun memang uh, peminat setia Eng- English mm, Premier League, kan? Hari ini saya bersama dengan John Anrise dan juga Ronnie Johnson. John Anrise. Anrise dari Liverpool yang pernah main pada tahun 2001 sampai 2008 and uh, dia berasal dari Norway and Ronnie pun dari uh, Norway. Norway kan both are from, both Norway. from Norway. I just did a Wikipedia research on the both of you. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I want to ask the both of you, okay, in many uh, matches in your career, which team that pumps you up the most every time uh, the both of you face each other? And why? It's easy. <laughs> Go, you're gonna have the same que- no, you're gonna have the same answer both of okay. us because it's the Liverpool game. Liverpool, and you can ask, uh, yeah, it's one of the biggest games in, in uh, Premier League. When you see the fixture list coming out, mm-hmm. uh, that's what you look for as a player, as a man, as a fan, uh, as TV. Everything is looking for that game uh, because of the history. So Share like the history of the two clubs, where they've been, how much they won. Uh, I think even though it's Man you have Man City and Liverpool has Everton local, I think the big game is Liverpool. Yeah. Yes, the fans here fight over you guys, you yeah. know that? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I bet everyone's uh, waiting for the game that's happening in November. Yeah. So are you guys friends or foes? <laughs> are you enemies? No, th- I think it's important <laughs> that we have that mutual respect of, uh-huh. of each other. Uh, when the game is on, it's all the winning you know oh. uh, that's always like that the friendship goes out the window but before the game and after the game it's all about respect because we all do the same job mm-hmm. uh, we try to do our best for the clubs we love uh, so yeah we are friends uh, <laughs> we have fun outside uh, outside uh, the, the game but uh, I'm telling you when the, when the whistle goes then 
Yeah, it's, it's, you it's, become like, it's, it's like a mu- uh, mutual uh, respect, mm-hmm. you know, you really respect the opponents, mm-hmm. uh, respect the, you know, but, you know, when it's out there, it's it's different. Yeah, story. in Malaysia, all, all are, yeah. we call it semangat kesukanan. You, yeah. may, you say that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's you a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Semangat <laughs> kesukanan, okay? Then, uh, kita akan kembali selepas ini, kita mau tahu lebih lanjut tentang uh, pemain-pemain uh, legenda dalam panggil ini, John Anwisa dan juga Ronnie Johnson. Masing-masing pernah bermain dengan uh, Liverpool satu ketika dulu dan juga Manchester United. Dan uh, kita terus setia bersama aku Kupi masih lagi bersama saya Velvet di Steady Cow Gang Terima kasih karena terus setia bersama Kupi Kupi FM Dan hari ini saya bersama dengan pemain-pemain uh, legend Diorang bilang nih ya Kita ada Ronnie Johnson yang pernah bermain dengan Manchester United uh, What year was it? Maybe I wasn't Maybe I was still small kan Masih kecil Dan mungkin ramai yang kenal uh, Ronnie pernah datang di Sabah Two times already You've been yes. here for the second yes. time And uh, John and Rise baru uh, satu kali Dan ini adalah pertama kali Dan memang dia buat research Sudah bila dia datang sini Dan uh, another question for the both of you, okay? This is about your career um, Of all the times you've played for Manchester United and Liverpool uh, Are there any moments that stood out the most That put smile on your face whenever you think about it And also if you could turn back time, okay? The time Would you change anything? Whew, uh, <laughs> I think when you look back at your career, you're, I think we both want to say the same question when it comes to the biggest moment when we won the Champions League. They won in 99 and we won in 2005. If I could change one thing, normally I say no, but uh, when I scored, uh, I scored an own goal in the mm. Champions League semi-final against Chelsea uh. in the last minute. If I could change something, I would prefer not to do that <laughs> uh, because that was pretty tough on on everything. But uh, no, I think I look back at my career. I think I did more than I can expect and dream of doing mm-hmm. uh, and achieving because I think both of us come from Norway, a small city in Norway, and we were able to play on the biggest station in the football world for many years, and we won the Champions League. So I think uh, no regrets for me. No regrets. How about you, Ronnie? Not of regrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God! Uh, and it's so easy to look back on uh, when you, when you, you know, wiser and you're like so much more experienced, and uh, and it's so easy to look back on and say, "Ah, oh, can have done that? Can have done that?" But it's as you know, I say you can't regret because we we played on the biggest stage. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were lucky to come there, uh, play for the clubs. You know, we played for. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, so I mean, it's it's it's. You can look back on it. You can try to change things, but it's. Uh, but well, you know, it, just mention the biggest uh, thing about our career. You know, obviously winning the Champions League. And it's every time I hear the song, mm. the Champions League uh-huh. uh, song, it's, it gives me goosebumps. Mm. Really, until today, yeah, yeah, it does. It really is a special, special thing. But again, again, you know, it's to, to win the Premier League is probably. Uh, it's so hard to win the Premier League. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's a fair score. I haven't done that. I don't know. So maybe he said that on purpose, by the <laughs> way. Do you think this year Liverpool has a chance? You have a chance this year. Yeah. Well, it, last year they won, lost one game and didn't uh-huh. win the league. So oh, I didn't mean. Uh, <laughs> but I think this <laughs> year. <laughs> He, it starts already. It's two months to the game, and we start <laughs> already. <laughs> This year we will win the league. I'm okay, telling you. Okay, yes, fingers crossed. Uh, oh. cut that off She is Liverpool. Oh, yeah. She oh, is Liverpool. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> okay. Where's the door? Mati lah aku. Okay. Saya akan kembali selepas ini. I'm going to ask about um, what do you think about football in general, but you can answer this after this. Terus dengar. Kupi Kupi FM. Ya bersama saya Velvet Dis dari Kau Geng Dan uh, hari ini kita ada legend-legend bola sepak yang terunggul di dunia Antara yang terbaik dan siapa yang selalu tinggal English, English Premier League Sebenarnya hari ini saya bersama dengan Ronnie Johnson Yang pernah bermain dengan Manchester United satu ketika dulu Dan juga John Anwisa Dan uh, untuk pengetahuan kamu orang kalau John Anwisa dia bermain bersama-sama zaman uh, Steven Gerrard kan? Yeah, you played with alongside Steven Gerrard and I know that you were the one who passed the ball to Steven Gerrard and he scored. Ah, I see. That's oh, how I did my homework. Okay. Like <laughs> All right. So, uh, I want to ask the both of you about football, okay? Uh, from 
the moment football start until today do you think uh, football in general has changed uh, the style the mentality the strategy uh, you, could, you could probably share your thoughts <laughs> where to start yeah, where uh, anyway thought, yeah. you can start anyway. of course football has changed uh, the biggest change is the tempo I think uh, it's the higher tempo mm-hmm. uh, and also the money in football I think uh, it's it's a lot of money in football uh, because of you know the TV money and all the commercials and everything. Uh, so uh, people earn more money and and there's a different focuses sometimes mm-hmm. certain players. But uh, the biggest change in football is obviously and this is natural the the tempo the high tempo uh, mm-hmm. or the rhythm of the football. Uh, but the one thing that never will change is how important the fans are. You know, because the fans showed up many, many years ago, and they still do. And the fans are what makes Premier League the most exciting league in the world. So, uh, um, no, I think certain things have changed here, yeah, but it's just natural that it changes. Mm-hmm. So, how about you, Ronnie? Yeah, it, it, it's changed a lot. Everything's changed. Uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. What can I say? The, the, the lads now are, you know. They run more, as you say. You know, it's uh, the tempo, how they play. Uh, mentality is different, a little bit different mm-hmm. uh, in Premier League than it was before as well, because it's more foreign players coming into the Premier yes. League. Uh, so when you look back on like 20 years, maybe it's it's just a different mentality. Mm-hmm. Uh, so also the managers have to change, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's changed. You know. Uh, but then again, it's it's. Uh, uh you have to be athlete now. Yeah. Every player yeah. has to yeah. be athlete. Before it's about like when I came to Liverpool in 2001, we still just end of the having a beer after the game in the in the dressing room, stuff like that. Oh, you do that? No, no, they it used wasn't, to do it. Wasn't it. that oh. at United? But <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. But then eat, now it's like you have to have the uh, the right diet. You have to eat and sleep properly. Oh. So every player have to be like an athlete now. That's yeah. changed a it's lot. It's more yeah. disciplined. A lot In more. a way. A lot more. Yeah, it's uh, yeah everything. You know, they everything. test more, they test everything. They see how much you run. Uh, if you go into Carrington, you know, the training facility as, at Manchester United, it's like coming to uh, you know they have everything there to test you to make sure that that you perform the best. So you know, all this fi- uh, science comes in comes in uh, into into football and training, uh, and they get the best out of the players. They can even you know look at. Uh, how much you slept? How, yeah, how oh, really? much you slept? How, uh, well, how, you we know. would fail the test. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so so it's it's uh, uh, it's much more common into football since we we retired. So it goes forward, of course, it does. And mm-hmm. uh, and the way they play, uh, it's a little bit different uh, when you look back on. So uh, yeah, it's, it's changed changed a lot. But you know the product. It's uh, it's Same. yeah it's it's unbelievable the interest for for English football uh, all around the world it's, it's, it gets it's, bigger it gets bigger and the product's getting bigger uh, that's why you know the players earn more mm-hmm. uh, and the mentality is changing <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a lot of things you know all right and uh, we're gonna head to the next question kita akan kembali selepas ini okay jangan pergi mana mana saya masih lagi bersama dengan legend legend bola sepak ke dunia oke okay? terus setia bersama Kubi Kubi FM di Steady Cow Gang jangan lupa like Facebook page kami download aku di TV secara percuma di Google Play Store dan juga di Apple Store dan hari ini saya bersama dengan John Anrisa dan juga Ronnie Johnson masing-masing pernah bermain dengan Liverpool uh, satu ketika dulu dan juga Manchester United dan mereka ini adalah uh, pemain bola sepak yang profesional so everyone idolizes the both of you oke okay? when they look at you like oh, I wish I was there to play and uh, I'm so lucky that I'm able to be here today, okay? And I want to ask you a question. Who is your football idol and why? I'll start with Ronnie first. Oh, my <laughs> football idol. Uh, you know, growing up, I mean, it's uh, we were like, I always looked forward to the World Cups and everything. You know, we, we followed, you know, English mm-hmm. football and I was following Manchester United, but also then, you know, back then it's uh, the World Cup every fourth year. You were like, uh, there was like uh, heaven to see see those players come together. And, and I, growing up as a kid, I was like watching them and and like I was I remember I watched like uh, Brazil for the first time. I was like, what wow. year was that? I think uh, that was back in uh, seventy eight. Was okay. back yeah, a long time. That was the first time I saw them play. It was mm-hmm. like unbelievable. 
uh, and uh, and you saw them play how they play. Uh, it was a bit different. Uh, so so and I also play you know going further up. It's when you saw Argentina play, for example, with uh, when you saw Maradona, which mm -hmm. I was like looking up to when I was uh, younger. It was just uh, amazing to see the technique and how they played. So yeah. But I can mention quite a few actually. <laughs> so it's Maradona, uh, who else? Brazil team. Oh, Brazil, Brazil team. team. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And how about you? To be honest, uh, I didn't really have a football idol. Really? Look, no, I, I'm more like a little bit like Ronnie saying that I enjoy watching football in general mm -hmm. and you learn from different players. But uh, I was not really looking up to any football. I was more uh, <laughs> looking up to other people like. Tiger Woods in golf and stuff. <laughs> okay. That's where I was. But uh, <laughs> no, in football, it was more like I just wanted to, to train myself and be the best possible player I could be. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, when I get a little bit older, I was looking at you know uh, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, and these kind of players. But then I ended up playing against them, uh -huh. which was <laughs> quite surreal uh, to be able to play against them. But obviously, Maradona was someone uh, that everybody looked at because he was out of his world. But mm -hmm. um, I didn't really look up to anybody, like idolizing. Okay, how old did you start playing football? Well, I started when I was four. Four? How yeah. about you? I think I was uh, the same, four or five or something. Yeah. Oh, you. But in, but in Norway, you have diff. It's like you have you do different uh, sports <coughs> at the same time. You know, yeah. you play football, handball, volleyball, athletes, uh, yeah. everything, skiing. It's only when you get up to thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's when you. Professionally. That's when you have to choose, okay, do you want to do this one or this one, uh, if you want to be professional. I mean, you can do everything else, but then you can't get to a highest level. But So I think both of us yeah. uh, choose, like, I went to football and he went to football as well. So what, what did you kind of sport? Volleyball. Did? Volleyball. Yeah. Oh, you volleyball, played volleyball. Did volleyball. Did yeah. How about you? No, I, I did, uh, first of all, athletes was my uh, first sport. You, you ran? Run, yeah. 100 run. meters? Yes. You could have been the next person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, sure. he, 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 I don't know if he's quick still, but he was quick. <laughs> he was, <laughs> he was quick. very quick. Jahatnya, you're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I, know. I don't even want to try it uh, <laughs> because before this game I need to go back and you know, try to you know get I'll get my pace up again. So do you guys better. still play? I mean, like, uh, do you still do running? Do you still do volleyball? Yeah, I, no, no. Well, I do now. I do s skiing. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it, it's just nice to have do different sports mm -hmm. uh, because you, you after being football for so many years, you, it's nice to just retire. And, and for me now, it's golf and skiing. That's golf what I do. Yeah, it's, it's the same. I'm not on the golf level he is, but I've discovered actually a new new uh, at least a new sport for mm -hmm. myself. And what's good about that is uh, you start on zero, okay. and everything is like a little bit progress. Yeah, progress uh, all the time. So I'm progressing all the time. What's so the sport? Okay, what's the sport? The sport is, <laughs> I tell you, it's ice hockey. I ice love hockey. it. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. I love it. So it's it's still a team game. Mm -hmm. Still, you play with others. Uh, but I started on zero. I re well, I was really like Bambi on the ice. I was really bad. So but uh, in the scale of zero to ten, what are you? Minus four. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm not on <laughs> the scale. Even. <laughs> Okay, kita akan kembali selepas ini. Okay, saya mau tanya pasal orang punya match, your match, your upcoming match is um, gonna be in November, uh, 20 hari bulan November ini. So kita akan tahu lebih lanjut pasal orang punya game di Sabah. Okay, di Sabah saya rasa orang di Stadium Likas terus setia bersama saya Velvet di Kupi. Kau geng terima kasih kerana terus setia bersama Kupi Kupi FM dan hari ini saya bersama dengan Ronnie Johnson yang pernah bermain dengan uh, Manchester United dan juga John Anderson. Risa dari Dodo dari Norway, John and Risa main dengan Liverpool dan Ronnie Johnson bermain dengan MU dia bilangkan dan untuk pengetahuan kamu orang pada 20 hari bulan November ini Liverpool dan juga Manchester United akan bermain lawan sama-sama. Ini dikira macam friendly match, okey. Dan kamu boleh beli tiket dia orang di Shopee yang sudah mula dijual uh, sekarang, okey. Di Shopee, kamu download app dia, cari beli kat stok kawan-kawan semua dan uh, gate buka pada jam 4:30 petang. A game bermula pada jam 7:30 malam 20 hari bulan November ini dan 
this battle of the Reds uh, match will be up in November. It's not a friendly, like you said. <laughs> not a friendly it's match. It's not a friendly. Ah? Okay, it's not a friendly match. They belong. Exactly. Ah, then <laughs> this will be the first. Never a friendly first. match. <laughs> <laughs> Never a friendly. Where, where I did that come from? That's all. She, she said friendly. That's the only thing I understood. The whole thing she said. Oh, okay, so friendly. it's not a friendly match, lah. Okay, bike lah, bike lah. Then this will be the first major footballing event in Sabah. Okay. Actually, and uh, I think the fans will be gathering in uh, the stadium and this is going to be really big so what can your Liverpool and Manchester United fans in Sabah look forward uh, to on this match? I think you look forward to uh, players coming here uh, wanting to give something back to the fans because we know uh, how many fans uh, here are supporting Liverpool and Man United this is our chance to give back they can expect a game of fun uh, mm -hmm. intense uh, rivalry funny uh, <laughs> some old players trying to play football <laughs> uh, and I'm bringing my uh, former teammates and some other players like Luis Garcia, Dietmar Haman, Smitzer, Heskey uh, all those, those players are coming with me mm -hmm. and we look forward to playing against and beating uh, Ronnie and his United <laughs> friends never gonna happen <laughs> so do you have <laughs> anything to no <laughs> yeah, bring me but me, you know Teddy Sheringham uh -huh. Eric Jemba Jemba Wes Brown is coming oh, wow. Yeah, Lee Martin and uh, Ben Thornley. So we, you know, really looking forward to uh, not a friendly, but uh, a match, <laughs> a proper match. Okay, so, so um, in this match, who do you think will win the game? <laughs> Easy. Easy. <laughs> well, I'm not going to answer that. There's, 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 there's two matches. There's one okay. on the there's one on the stadium. Mm -hmm. Who which of the fans are going to win? Uh -huh. It's always nice to be. That's why we travel to see who wins. That's going to be easy as well. That's going to be Liverpool. And then you have one on the pitch as well, which is going to be even easier. It's going to be <laughs> Liverpool as well. So for all the Liverpool fans, get your tickets. It's going to be an easy win. Okay, so how about you, Ronnie? <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I just uh, have to add to that. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> come to the, I've been here, as, as I said, I've been here before. I've seen how many uh, United <laughs> fans are here. So just go to uh, shoppy.com mm -hmm. and uh, Buy your tickets and I will see all the United fans in the uh, Lika Stadium the 20th of November. Betul. Kalau sini sudah orang berlawan, apalagi di Padang kan? <laughs> okay, then uh, we'll be back. Selepas ini jangan pergi mana-mana. Terus setia bersama saya Velvet di Steady Cow Gang. Lagi setia bersama saya Velvet di Steady Cow Gang. Uh, sekarang ini saya bersama dengan John Anrisa dan juga John, Ronnie Johnson dari Manchester United dan mereka akan uh, pergi di Sabah balik ke sini pada 20 hari bulan November 2019. Jangan ada perlawanan Liverpool menentang Manchester United di Stadium Likas dapatkan tiket kamu orang di Shopee sekarang, okay? Dan orang uh, sudah apa? Spend masa banyak bersama saya di sini pada hari ini dan uh, mungkin you you have anything to say to your fans who's been supporting you from the day you started football up until today? And I think you still have really like hardcore fans in Sabah. You just don't know it. <coughs> Yes, we, yes. No, we do know. Oh, you do know? Yeah, okay. because we are, especially for me, I mean, on social media, you know you know how many followers you have. I think the reason we are doing this is our way of giving back to all those people who support us so many years in, mm -hmm. in our clubs. Uh, we are fans who never stop supporting. Even though we change clubs, they still support us. So uh, all I can say to, to, to my fans and little fans is one thing, you never walk alone. And this is really true because even since I left Liverpool 2008, I went to Rome and stuff, they always supported me and it's my chance and our chance to give something back to the fans and that's why we're coming here. Oh, how about you, Ronnie? Yeah, it's, it's the same. It's, uh, as you know what I say, it's uh, something to give back and it's always nice to to come down. Um, you know, when since I work, start work for, work for the club, it's it's amazed me how many fans we have around the world and coming to this part of the, the world, it's, it's just blows your head off. And it's so nice to get down here because people are so friendly and so they so yeah, they know so much about uh, the club they follow. So it's just uh, you just have to concentrate uh, sometimes because they know so much. It's like mm -hmm. really they know more than us. Yeah, yeah they yes, know no yes. more than us. So we had to do we even do our own strategy on paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's so nice to be here because uh, they give us so much back mm -hmm. and, and uh, they even 
put up things you ca you almost rem uh, can't remember yourself because they remember. Oh, you remember this situation, and you just like you start have to get, uh, step back and start to think again. And uh, it's so many things. So it gives you so much back. So it's nice to be here mm -hmm. and you know to bring the teams out here to this part of the world. It's it's uh, it's really it's enjoyable for us. And hopefully it's going to be enjoyable for them as well. Well, thank you for considering uh, Sabah as your destination to play. We, we are really looking forward to this match. Are you going to the game? Yes, of course. I'm going to sit in the middle of the field. With, <laughs> with, the, with the lipo shirt, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys looking forward to this uh, match, upcoming match? Yes. yes. Both of you? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, so um, I thank you for being here today we at Kupi Kupi FM and it feels surreal because we watch you on TV and we're like, uh, we used to watch uh, the Premier Leagues on a 14 inch TV, that yeah. was in the 90, 1990s okay, and we wake up early in the morning and now to see you like in right in our face now it's like, wah, dia orang ada sini pula, begitu rasa dia kan so, um, jangan lupa beli tiket kamu orang, okay, di Shopee sekarang Match dia akan um, main pada 20 hari bulan November 2019. Thank you so much once again. Uh, terus setia bersama Kupi Kupi FM. Kita-kita juga.